Hey, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and in today's video, I'm very excited to show you what's new in Oxygen 4.5 Beta 1. Oxygen 4.5 Beta 1 introduces the new Emmet feature in Oxygen. Any of you that are developers are probably familiar with Emmet. It's basically a tool that allows you to quickly expand strings into HTML. It does a bit more than that, but in the context of Oxygen, that's the primary portion of Emmet that we're using. So let me show you a little bit about how this works. To access Emmet mode, you'll simply click add and then click the magnifying glass icon there to switch over to the Emmet input. Now, if you don't wanna do all that clicking, you can also just hit command or control E and then you can hit command or control A to swap back to add. So at any time you're in the builder and you wanna type up a quick abbreviation or search for something, those keyboard shortcuts are now available. Now the way Emmet works is that it takes a string, which is essentially a CSS selector, and converts it into HTML. For example, if we type section and press enter, it's gonna put a section onto our page. But we can go a bit further than that. We could type something like div, and then we could use the child combinator to add a child element, like text. So now we've just added a div with some text. Let's expand this over here so that you can see what we're doing. Now let's select this section again, open up our Emma input, and let's try doing all of that in one go. So we could do something like section with a div as its child, and that div will have a child that is text. And it's just created it in one press of the enter key. Now let's try this again. Let's do section with a div inside of it and with a text element, but Emmet allows us to use curly braces to change the text of our text element. So we could type, this is my text from Emmet. And we press enter. And you can see that not only have we added the elements, but we've also altered their attributes. And speaking of attributes, we can also add attributes to elements. To illustrate this, let me go ahead and open up my style sheet here and add a selector that just styles something with an attribute. So something like uh, data, Emmet, and we'll just give it a background, black, color, yellow, padding, 32 pixels, just to make it super obvious. So now that we've got that set up, we can go ahead and reopen our Emmet input, and we can type something like section, and then we can add a text element inside of it, and then we can use square brackets just like we would in CSS to target an element by attribute but this time we're actually assigning the attribute. So we're gonna do data dash emmet, and it does need a value, so we'll type equals true, and we'll go ahead and drop that in. And now if we select this element and go over to advanced attributes, you can see that that attribute has been added. So Emmet has a lot of cool things that it can do, and we've really just kind of scratched the surface here. Let me show you some practical applications in Oxygen and how we believe this is actually gonna enhance your workflow quite a bit. So for example, we wanna create a, a section with two columns. The left column will have a heading with text and then a link wrapper with some text inside of it. And the right column will just have an image inside of it. So let's go ahead and create this manually. So we'll click add and we'll make sure we're over on the normal search. We'll type section. Drop that in, columns, drop that in, pick 50-50, click the left column, go back to add, and we're gonna search for a heading. And we don't want this to be an H1, so we have to go down here and click H2. And then we'll click add again and drop in a text element. Now we're gonna add a link wrapper, and we're gonna add some text inside of that. Now that we've added this, we can edit the text, double click, oxygen 4.5. This is really great. And then over here, of course, we need to add an image. Now we're gonna do this in a couple of layers, but the first thing I wanna do is show you how to replicate this structure with Emmet. So we'll open our Emmet input, and I'm gonna go a little bit slow, but once you're familiar with the syntax, you'll be able to really hammer these out very quickly. So to recreate this section that we've just created by hand, we'll do section, and that section will have one child element. So we're using the angle bracket there, and that child is gonna be a columns element. And then that element will have two children. 
Now I'm gonna do something new here. I'm gonna use parentheses here to group everything in this first container together. So the child itself is gonna be a div and then it will have some children. The reason I've grouped this is because I wanna create a sibling to this whole arrangement here. And I'll show you what I mean by that in just a moment. So we're within the columns element, we have a div. Now we're within that div element. So what we wanna do here is add a heading, plus, and the plus is used to create siblings, text plus a link wrapper, and then the link wrapper needs a child, which will just be a text element. Now we've grouped this first column. Now we can go outside of the closing parenthesis and we can hit plus, and then we can add another div with an image as its child. Now we can just hit enter to execute that. And you can see that we have the exact same structure that we just created by hand, but we were able to just type it all out exactly how we wanted. Now here's where Emmett really starts to shine. We're gonna do this kind of iteratively. So this is our first attempt here. Now we need some text changes and a tag change. So to avoid having to click things and do things manually, we can do this within Emmett as well. So let's do section just like we did before. But this time, columns, then within that, we're gonna do that, that grouping maneuver again div, heading. Now we're on the heading, we wanna change its text, but we also need it to be an H2 and not an H1. So we can actually just not use heading at all, we can use H2. And then to change text, we use the curly brackets and we say oxygen 4.5. Now the next sibling should be a text element that says this is really great. And then the last sibling on that level is a link wrapper with a text element inside of it, and it's gonna say, edit the text. Now you can see where grouping really comes in handy. It helps us kind of see what we're working on here. And now we need to add another sibling, which is gonna be a div with an image inside. So that one stays relatively simple. So let's go ahead and execute that. And you can see here that we've not only out of the structure that we needed, but we also altered the properties and attributes and things that we wanted too. Now to really unlock the power of Emmet, let's start leveraging some classes. So we'll go back up here just so that you can see what I'm doing. Let me get rid of these extra sections that we've created. We'll delete that one and that one. And we'll just start with this as our example. Now we wanna make this look much, much better. So let's go ahead and do something a little more advanced. Let's do section, and then we're gonna add a class to it. How do we add a class? Well, it's the same way you would target a section with a class in CSS. We just hit period and then type the class name. And I have some classes set up already that I'm gonna use. So this is gonna be neutral-bg. That'll give us a darker colored background. Now we need our columns element, and then we need that first div in the group. And this div is actually gonna get a class of card. Now we can just go on adding children. So we'll do H2, oxygen 4.5, plus text. I should type something better here. Plus a link wrapper with a class of button and a child of text. Click here now. And then we can't forget the second column, so let's add that outside the closing parenthesis, div with an image inside. So now assuming we haven't made any mistakes, when we execute this, it drops in the structure that we had before, but it's also applied some styles. So again, we could go on all day showing really cool use cases for Emmett. I'm gonna show you one more thing now for this demonstration, I'm gonna use another Emmet feature which allows us to actually create copies of something in our abbreviation. So I have a class called grid. So I'm gonna add a section with a grid class. Now I want this to have 12 images inside of it. Instead of typing image plus image plus image, you get the point. We can just do something like this. We can type image star 12. And like that, we just created a 12 image grid. So I think that's a great final example for the video. I expect that this will 
very much improve the workflow of a lot of people that are creating websites with Oxygen and may even open the doors to cool stuff like sharing Emmet abbreviations and things like that. Note this is the first beta, so there's definitely some polish to be done. We're already working on the second beta, but please download the first beta, test it out, let us know what you wanna see, and we will do our best to make sure this works to enhance your workflow and make Oxygen better for everyone. Again, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and thank you very much for watching.